Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and now we're going to have a look at the 60 gallon long in my basement that is holding all the fish that I am going to bring home. So we'll have a close look at them. And um, if anyone is close by in driving distance, come on down. They're here for you to just pick some. So um, let's look. Well, here is my 60-gallon aquarium filled with my rehoming cichlids. I have a few more than I thought. In this aquarium, there are just over 60, all needing to go. I kept 40 for my 75-gallon. Every time I come down here, I see another one that I would like to keep. This tank has been pure mayhem. These cichlids have been in this aquarium for a little over a week now. On the weekend, I pulled four that were really torn up and would die without healing time and isolation. I also pulled a couple that were looking pretty thin. If Ghost was still in this tank, this would not have happened. Ghost is a wonderful tank boss in the new 75-gallon setup. I'm so happy he reasserted himself as king of the castle. Everyone is beautiful and safe with Ghost in charge. Lately, there are two that have been lip-locking. They are both dragon bloods, but one is an OB dragon blood. Ghost is quick to break them up. I don't know if there's a tank boss emerging in this aquarium yet. I just hope the aggression settles down. These guys are beautiful, but they need to go. I don't want any more chewed up. I'm going to keep them for one more week, and the next weekend, if I still have them, I'll take them to my local fish store. Unless, of course, I have someone that wants to come and get them. There are a couple young Venustas that I keep looking at. I know they'll get big, so I would eventually have to rehome them. That's why they're still in here. There are some really cool looking yellow lab and Kenyai cross. The big female bumblebee is also in here, along with some nice looking yellow labs, a yellow tail acai, a sakalafi, some obese, and lots of hybrids. I did my water changes today on my show tanks and took the FX4 back up to my 150. In place of it, down here I added two more large HOB filters. I'm doing water changes on this tank every third day, keeping the water fresh with it being overstocked as it is. Take a look at that ridiculous light I have on this tank. Two lights like this came with my 150 gallon when I got it. This is the one that's a little heavier. It has two long fluorescent tube lights in it and it's very heavy and cumbersome to move. I left this one intact but I stripped down the other one planning on making a DIY LED light. Eric aka Fishman just did a video on this exact topic. I spoke with him and he's going to help me do this. Of course his is much nicer than I plan on making mine but the same idea. Eric has an awesome channel. He makes videos about um, the sumps he's built, filtration systems he makes, tanks he builds, and shares all of this on his channel. He's also a fish keeper sharing his tanks and unboxings. It's a great channel and I encourage any of you who don't know Eric to drop by and say hello. You'll be glad you did. So building the DIY LED light will be my next project and then as soon as this tank is empty I will start working on this trying to buff out the scratches. I'm going to have to watch some videos to get exactly what I need to do it properly but I'm looking forward to getting these guys gone so I can start thinking about this tank. Again let me know what you think I should do with it. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I am so serious. If you're interested in any of the fish in that aquarium and you can drive by, um, I will be more than thrilled to send you home with some beautiful cichlids. So um, I hope to hear from you. And if not, I'll talk to you soon.